Here are five things you didn't know about Manchester United's Bruno Fernandes. Number one. Did you know that former Manchester City player Stephen Ireland and Bruno Fernandes are neighbours? The players live in the same street and during the coronavirus lockdown, the former Manchester City midfielder and Bruno Fernandes used to help each other keep fit by training together via social distancing guidelines. Fernandez even admitted to Ireland that he used to be a big fan of the player and even had a poster of the player on his wall as a kid. In an interview with The Athletic, Ireland said, Fernandez told me that as a kid he had a poster of me. He said that when he played football manager he always signed me. I was like, you had me on a poster? And seriously, you signed me in football manager? I mean, how weird is that? Number 2 Did you know that as a youth player, Bruno Fernandez used to play as a centre back? Starting off in youth football, Bruno Fernandes played for Infesta and Boa Vista in Portugal. In 2005, Fernandes apparently asked to be loaned to Pastelera, a sporting satellite team, because he was becoming frustrated with playing in defence. He told the United podcast, I played central defender for the most part when I started playing football, either central defence or right back. I was really good. I didn't like to play there, but everyone was saying I was a good defender. They said I was smart, that I covered the sides. It was at Pastelera where youth coach Antonio Perez moved him from the defence to midfield. In an interview with 442 magazine, Perez said, If we'd had a number 10 in our team, maybe he wouldn't have moved forward on the pitch. But we didn't, and he took his chance. He was an instant hit. He scored in almost every game. Number 3 Do you know the meaning of Bruno Fernandez's tattoos? Bruno Fernandez has a thick black band with some visible characters, a number 8 and the letter F on his right arm. The F is for his surname Fernandez, and the small number 8 is something very significant to him. His late father previously wore the number 8 jersey while he was a player, and Fernandez even alludes to the number 8 as his lucky number. Fernandez was also delighted to get the number 8 jersey, vacated by Juan Mata when he departed Old Trafford in July 2022, after wearing the number for 8.5 years at the club. My birthday is on the 8th, Fernandez also told the Manchester United website last year. So much about me, my family and my history are revealed by the number 8. That is why I enjoy using it. It is therefore my favourite number. Fernandez also has a small number 23 tattooed on his left arm which is believed to be because of his jersey number when he made his international debut for Portugal in November 2017, also at the age of 23. Fernandez came on as a substitute for the last 34 minutes of a 3-0 friendly win over Saudi Arabia. Number 4 Did you know that the secret to Bruno Fernandez's success on the pitch is apparently due to his love of his favourite chocolate cereal? <laughs> Fernandez is known for keeping himself in peak condition with incredible stamina, rarely missing a game. However, former teammate and close friend Francisco Ramos claimed it's all down to his favourite breakfast, Choco Pick. I spoke to your friend Francisco Ramos yeah. <laughs> uh, a while ago and he said that when he played with you um, in the Portugal national teams, that the secret for you to play well <laughs> was some chocolate cereal. Yeah. So that's what we've got you for, for your birthday. <laughs> Thank you so very much. It's uh, Choco Pick. Yes, it's, it's something that we have in Portugal. Uh, we have it here in the in the supermarket, in the Portuguese supermarket. We oh have, really? Do you know how difficult that was to find in London? Not easy. In sporting, when I scored my 32 goals, because his, his cousin, Luis Neto, uh, played with me in sporting. Okay. And uh, when I scored that uh, that season, 32, 32 goals, that was this was my breakfast every <laughs> single day. And uh, his cousin started to say that was my, my secret. Number five. Did you know that Fernandez's hands over his ears celebration is a tribute to his daughter Machuji? Fernandez said in an interview, We would ask her to put away her toys or something, and she would just put her hands over her ears pretending she was not listening. Blah blah blah, I can't hear you daddy. I found it really funny, so that's why I started celebrating my goals by putting my hands over my ears.